Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a purchase or pass video. I'm going to be talking about new makeup releases that are about to come out or things that have just released. I'm going to let you know if I plan on picking them up or passing on them. As always, I am going to link Trend Moods Instagram down in the description box because that's where I'm always reading from. So if you haven't checked her out, make sure you do so. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on her page because I know these videos can be lengthy. Starting off, the very first thing I see is from Nabla Cosmetics and I love Nabla. They have such amazing products. And this is a highlighter, and I love their highlighters. This one looks different than the ones that I currently have. I like the pressing on this. It looks like foil. It's beautiful. I think it's called Lucent Jungle, a rich multi-dimensional highlighter, bronze gold. And it just says coming soon, so I don't know when this is going to be available. But this looks stunning. Unfortunately for me, this looks like it's going to be a little too dark for my skin tone. However, if you have a richer complexion, I would definitely keep an eye out for this. I'm telling you, I have loved the highlighters that I have tried from Nabla, so I would definitely check that out. But for me personally, it's just a little bit too dark. Moving on, we have something brand new and available now, which <laughs> I didn't know this was coming out. So it's one of those things that's just probably dropped all of a sudden today. It is from Marc Jacobs Beauty, and these are a liquid eyeliner. It's supposed to have long wear, shiny color, it's waterproof, and it's an inkwell liquid liner that has the same amazing glide and color payoff as their crayon. Now, I love their crayon. The only thing I don't like is in my inner rim. If I put it there, it will get on my contacts. But longevity-wise, I have to give it to them. And smoothness, they are great. So I probably will end up trying one of these. It also says that they are supposed to be flake-resistant. A lot of the times with liquid liners, oh, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but especially when you go over more than once, they will get like kind of crumbly and they can flake off and that drives me bonkers. It comes in blacker, a shiny black, gold getter, a yellow gold, glitz coin, bronze copper, that's probably the one that I will wanna get, glam maroon, metallic cranberry, I probably, probably will pick that up as well, steal the show, metallic dark gray, silver lining, icy silver, and then star magic, a rose gold. So I know that I will likely at least pick up two of these. I don't feel like I need a black or anything like that, but I'm always looking for a copper. I love those. All right, and like I said, those are available now. You guys, I think I just had a little mini makeup heart attack. If there's such a thing, I just had it. New from Pat McGrath. Now she just released two quads. I've already reviewed those, so those are in this collection, but there's a fourth one. Oh my gosh, and it is called Ritualistic Rose, and it's a Pat McGrath exclusive, so I'm assuming that it's only gonna be on her website. I am 110% getting that. It is so beautiful. Those pinky rose gold tones, yes, I am so here for it. There's also all of the lipsticks, Omni, Guinevere, Flesh 3, and Christy. I have all of those, so I'm going to be skipping that. And then there's Chroma Lux Highlight Cream, also a Pat McGrath exclusive. It's a gel cream highlighter, shines with radiant glittering effects for the eyes and face. Oh my goodness, these look beautiful. And if I can use them on my eyes, I'm more than likely going to be picking both of these up. And then these very interesting looking lip balms. When I first saw these, I was like, what is that though? <laughs> so there looks to be two different shades. I'm not going to get both of them because one has a little bit of a gray hint to it that I just can't see being very pretty on my lips. But the other one, the other one I am going to grab, and I love this packaging with it being like, it looks like it's a matte black and then at least a matte silvery gray lip. Oh my gosh, like, ooh, I'm so excited. When I first saw like the sneak peeks of these, I thought they were lipsticks and I was like, please don't do that to us. But being bombs, mm, I don't know. I might have to pick them both up because what if that other one's really pretty? I feel like I might need to know. I don't know, Pat McGrath does it to me every time. 
It says it'll be available October 10th online at Pat McGrath, the Lip Balms, October 31st. And some of them are already available now at Sephora, which would be the two quads that I have already reviewed. Available now, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Carly Bible. I have this. I got it in PR. I'm so excited. It's sitting over there. And if I had gotten it earlier today, I would have already put it all over my face or my eyes. But anywho, you guys will definitely be seeing a look or two or three out of this. I'm excited for this palette. I don't understand why they keep releasing things back to back to back. They are doing things really close together, but... I'm just going to talk about the palette, and the palette in of itself looks beautiful. Even if I didn't get this in PR, I definitely would have picked this up. I love the colors of this. This screams a little of winter and fall to me. You have like these icy tones in here that are beautiful for the winter time, and then I can see the oranges and the coral and that red and then the gold. Those are definitely fall colors, so I just... I'm feeling this palette. I think it's beautiful. I feel like if it's pretty online, then it's going to be even prettier in person. And you guys are probably thinking, Mel, you have it. Well, I have it, but it's in the box over there. And I just got the box as soon as I started filming this. So I haven't opened it yet. But you better believe as soon as I'm done, it's getting cracked open. But again, this is available now. Then we have three new palettes from Huda Beauty. These are an extension to the Obsession palettes and these are obviously on the nude side. I'm getting every single one of these. They look beautiful. The downside is a lot of the times with Huda Beauty, these minis don't live up to the quality of her larger palettes, but I still have to try them. I still have to try them and I like the mini size. The packaging on this looks beautiful. I love what she has done with the packaging on this and every single one of these palettes look gorgeous and of themselves as well. So definitely going to get these, definitely going to be comparing them to what I already have from her in my collection. And these are out October 9th, which is not today for me, but it is today now. So get your hands on them if you are interested. Available now from ColourPop. This is in collaboration with Disney. It's called the Midnight Masquerade Collection. You've got the Masquerade Palette, which is $22. Eight blush highlighter compacts, $10 each. Princess Bundles, $18 each. And then Lux Liquid Lip. This is a new formula, apparently. I am going to skip this. It just doesn't interest me. I'm just going to be completely honest. The palette looks pretty, but it's nothing that I feel like I need. And then, I don't know if it's just me. The corners being cut off really drive me absolutely bonkers, but that's just something really silly and something that really just pertains to me and my visual preferences. It doesn't say anything about the quality of the eyeshadow palette, I know, but just looking at this, uh, I... No, I just, I'm not excited about it. So I'm going to skip it. But if you're interested in it, it is currently available. From Dominique Cosmetics, she is going to be releasing her holiday set on October 11th. And it includes an eyeshadow palette with six matte shades, a liquid lipstick in Cozy, a matte mauve, and then a gloss in Sugar and Spice, which is a warm nude with gold flecks. Personally, this just isn't screaming to me. I think the colors are beautiful, but I just don't feel like I need this. I do like the theme behind it. It's called the Sweater Weather Collection, and if you look at the palette, I think this is so cute. It looks like a sweater pattern, and I just think that's adorable, but I am going to be skipping on this collection. Here we have the new Christmas collection from MAC Cosmetics. This is already being pre-sold at some stores, but it's going to be released on October 17th. What we have are cute frosted lipsticks with stars. I love these. I, I love stars. I have them tattooed on my face. I have them all over my body. I have one underneath. Hold on. Underneath my ring right here. There's a star. I, I, I love stars. So... I have to have these just out of sheer prettiness. And then we have glosses. I probably will skip the glosses, not gonna lie. Just, I don't feel like I need them. Spell binder eyeshadows. These are a little tricky to use. I do like them though. So I'm gonna figure out which colors I wanna pick up and I will grab those. And then we have two opalescent highlighters, rising star and shooting star. 
I think I'm gonna have to swatch these. I don't know. I don't really like the swatches that I'm seeing right here. They don't, they look kind of powdery and dry, but I have a feeling it's probably just the picture. I'm gonna be investigating this collection just a little bit more, seeing if I can find any stores that have them out already so I can swatch them myself and figure out what I am going to get. But I'm definitely going to be picking up a few items from this and there will be a review video. Again, October 17th. Juvia's Place has a brand new stick foundation and I do already have this as well so I do plan on doing a review on it or at least showing you guys in a get ready with me. Um, these are creamy, easily blendable, and a hydrating formula. They come in 30 different shades and they retail for $16 a piece. More holiday releases, this time from Fenty Beauty and this will be available October 11th. We have a few different sets here. So first we have the Glossy Pose. There's five mini shades of the Gloss Bomb formula and it contains some permanent and new shades. I initially did not think I was going to pick this up but I'm kind of intrigued by it. Uh, that little, little orange shade and that pink shade, they're kind of calling my name. I don't know. I might, I might, I have not decided yet. And then we have a set that has a gloss bomb and a foil kilowatt highlighter. The gloss bomb is obviously a mini and it's a new limited edition soft pink shade called Sweet Mouth. And then the mini kilowatt foil mega reflective highlighter in the shade Sand Castle. There's a mini body lava in the shade Who Needs Clothes. <laughs> and a new mini Stunna lip paint in a new burgundy shade called Underdog and a cute ornament. So I'm not gonna be picking up everything from this, but I am considering picking up the lip gloss set. I don't know yet though. It's, it's a maybe, it's a maybe you guys. I need to see some swatches, but these are available October 11th. Now we have a whole lot of stuff for the holidays from Charlotte Tilbury. So give me a second while I go through all of this. First, we have the advent calendar and it is $200. You get 12 full size and travel size makeup and skincare in that. Then we have the Hot Lips Luxury Wardrobe, Hot Lips 2. I have all the shades that I think that I want, but it has 10 lipsticks for $260. And then we have the Magic Dream Skincare Kit, $110 for a night cream and moisturizer. Instant Look at a Palette, which is $75. Starry Eyes to Hypnotize Eyeshadow Palette, $75. Limited Edition Film Star Bronze and Glow Set, Highlighter and Brush Kit, $75. Luxury Palette of Pops and Celestial Eyes. And then the third edition Magical Mini Brush Set. Four brushes, $50. All right, so you guys might be disappointed to know that I don't really plan on picking any of this up. I'm still debating on the face and eye palette, but I'm not sure. Out of all the ones that have been released, this one does look the prettiest, but I just haven't decided yet as to whether or not I'm going to grab it. You guys are gonna have to let me know. I'm not gonna pick up anything else from this, but that is the one thing that I might be willing to try out. I feel like I already know it's gonna be good, but I just, I'm not sold on it yet. So you guys let me know. Tatcha has several, several holiday gift sets. I'm gonna just let them scroll across the screen for you guys. I don't need these personally because I have all of their skincare. I love their skincare. Something about Tatcha and me, we just get along really, really, really well. And if you didn't know, I am currently hosting a giveaway from them. They are sending me, well, they are already here. They sent me five eye creams, the Silk Peony eye cream, and I am giving them away. It's in my last favorites video, and I believe you only have like a day or two left to enter. So if you're interested in that, make sure you go check out that video. But I would definitely suggest these as amazing Christmas presents. I could pick up a few of these and give them away as Christmas presents. And if not that, if you're looking to try out Tatcha, you haven't tried them before, this is a great way to do that because you're getting different set options and little sizes and see if you like it before you buy the full size of the item. But all I can tell you is that Tatcha has my stamp of approval. I absolutely love them. I don't know why this picture was not put in with the Mac picture from earlier, but <laughs> there's more to the Star Collection, the Holiday Collection. Uh, yeah, I'm getting these two palettes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have the Star Dipped Compacts, $42.50 each. One is geared toward light skin tones and the other one medium deep. 
And then we have some eyeshadow palettes and it says Mac Store Exclusives. The first one is a lavender one. This looks pretty, but the picture is a little fuzzy, so I'm not sure about that. And then we have a pink one or fuchsia. The last one was lavender. And this one is fuchsia. I'm not sure. Again, I'm going to have to do some digging around and see if I want to pick those up. I know I want to get some of the other single shadows, the loose ones, but I'm not sure about the palettes. I do know that I want the face palette, though. I don't know if I'm gonna get them both. Hold on, let me look at them again. I feel like I'm gonna get them both. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna get both of those. They just look so pretty. And again, stars, stars. <laughs> I have to sigh because I think this is the first time I'm going to skip NARS. It's for the holidays and it is limited edition and it's also available now. And there's, there's a lot. We have cheek palettes with the blushes and highlighters. We have two different eyeshadow palettes. You've got different bundles in here with bronzer, blush, and then mascara, lip products. And you have lip product bundles as well. I just, I don't know. I feel like... I don't need these. I'm looking especially at the eyeshadow palettes and I just don't, I'm not getting excited about this collection and I don't really, I can't pinpoint why. I just, I know I'm not. And then the other bundles and stuff, I think this is the first year in a long time that I am just skipping out on NARS. I feel bad too because I feel like I'm supposed to really want this and I just don't. And like I said, I can't really pinpoint it but I'm not excited about it. However, if you are, there's a lot of things you can look at and grab and touch and play with, but yeah, that sounded really weird. Sorry about that. But it's all limited edition. It's all available now. So if you're curious about it, go ahead and grab it. But for me, this is a skip. I'm just not really into it. From Too Faced for the holidays, we have the Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice set, which includes the Pumpkin Spice eyeshadow palette, Better Than Sex Mascara, Pumpkin Spice Ultra Plush Lip Gloss, and an eyeshadow brush. This one is a skip for me. I really enjoyed the Extra Spicy Gingerbread Palette and the Hot Buttered Rum Palette. Love those. And with having those, I don't think that I need to get this. But, I mean, it looks like a pretty palette, just nothing that I'm really interested in. But if you're interested, it is $46 for the set, and it's available now on HSN. You guys know I love brows, and you know that I love my Benefit 24-hour brow setter. Nothing works as well, but somebody did inbox me something that I need to try out. I'm going to. I just haven't gotten to it yet. However, this is new from Benefit and it is called the Brow Styler. It has a wax pencil on one side that sculpts and shapes waterproof 18 hour wear and then there's a loose filling powder to create soft full looking natural brows. Cushiony, buildable, texture, natural finish. And this is online already. For me, when I use a product like this, because I have such thick brows as it is, they can look overboard. So I'm not going to try this out because putting a powder that adds texture or buildable anything, I'm going to look like Oscar the Rat Grouch coming at you. So I'm not trying this, but it could be good. I think Benefit has great brow products, but I'm, st I'm staying away from this one. I'm not even going to lie, this makes me sad because I really would have picked up a few of these colors from Huda Beauty. These are the Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks in the Throwback Collection. The colors look beautiful, especially the shades Girls Trip, Prom Night, Board Meeting. Like I'm so into those colors. However, I just spoke about my favorite one, um, Anniversary. I bought it twice and I barely used it and they broke. So I don't feel like purchasing any more of them because I don't know if it's something just with the formula that they break at the bottom. Like I don't, I don't twist them all the way up. So I don't feel comfortable purchasing any more of them. However, I have to say that these colors are beautiful. If I didn't have problems with Anniversary twice in a row back to back, I would pick those shades up, but I'm going to skip on them. New from Dior and adding to the backstage collection, we have a new eyeshadow palette, which is leaning more on the cool tone side. I think this palette is pretty, however, 
I am gonna skip it. It just doesn't scream out to me. And then we have the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow. This is a product you can use on top of your makeup, mixed in with your foundation, underneath your makeup. You can use it on your body. The color is like a champagne gold. I think it's pretty, but it's not something that I will get a lot of use out of. I just typically don't use these type of products enough to really justify buying it. So both of these I am skipping on, but they are both available now. This picture came out as I was editing the video, so I thought I would go ahead and throw it in. It's from ColourPop and it comes out on October 10th at 10 a.m. PST time. There's a Smoke Show eyeshadow palette. I plan on picking that up. It looks like it's pretty cool toned. Obviously, it almost looks like it's a black and white picture. However, some of the swatches have been more on the kind of silver and purpley tone. So I'm gonna pick this up and see what it looks like in person. There's also the Smoke and Mirrors Glitterly Obsessed Mini Trio, a Starry Eyed BFF Bundle, and a few other things, a Heavy Metal Super Shock Shadow Trio, and just several other things with this. But I only plan on picking up the eyeshadow palette. All right, you guys, that is it. Let me know down below what you plan on picking up, what you're passing on. Is there anything that you're really excited about or are you just overwhelmed with all of the releases? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.